Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I wanted to talk about this product right here. Um, so this is a Circle water bottle and that's spelled C-I-R-K-U-L. So Circle is a company that sells water bottles and what they call sips, which are these flavor cartridges. And the whole thing is designed to get you to drink more water which is great, we can all go for some more water in our lives. And I wanna talk a little bit about this product, how it works, and then also my experience with it because I bought this 32 ounce uh, stainless steel bottle last year. And since then, I've developed some thoughts on it. So anyway, how does it work? Well, on the surface, this is just a regular, ordinary water bottle. And the sips are these little cartridges that you put down into the mouth of the water bottle. So you just fill your water with that, you put your sips in, you close it up. The sips come in a variety of different flavors. I think the website said like around 40 flavors or so. And then they also have different uses. So this is a fit sip that would have things like electrolytes and stuff in it. They also have sips that have caffeine. And if you just want something to give you a little bit of flavor, then they also have those as well. Now, the interesting thing about how this works is that you control the intensity of the flavor that you get from the sips. So there's a dial on the top that goes from zero to nine. So basically there's an X that means that all you're gonna get is water. And then it goes all the way up to nine, which is a really highly concentrated burst of flavor, which might be a little much for most people. It definitely is for me. But you just basically turn this dial and you choose the intensity of flavor that you want to get. So the concept in and of itself is really nice and I really, really wanted to uh, use this every day to help me get more water into my system and to get a little bit of flavor in there as well. And you know, stay kind of stay away from the sodas and the sugary drinks that you tend to get like in the grocery store and stuff. Now they do have a website. You can go there to check out, see if they have any deals and the different water bottle options or they also sell these at Bed Bath & Beyond now. So you can also check that out as well. Now, here's my thoughts on this thing. After having it for some months, I really, really, really want to like this, but there are some flaws in it that I think are kind of unforgivable. All right, so here's the first thing. The, the most important thing that really upsets me is the amount of time that the sip cartridges last. Now, if you look at the box, it tells you that each circle cartridge can flavor the equivalent of six 20 ounce fully flavored bottled beverages. So each of these sips is supposed to get you six 20 ounce um, water bottles worth of flavor. Now, I know when companies make claims like that, there's always like, well, you can get that much if you were to drink it at the number one intensity level. And of course, the more intense the flavor, the less is going to last. Okay, I get that. But the problem is with this 32 ounce bottle, my experience with these sips has been, I've only been able to get maybe one to one and a half 32 ounce bottles worth of flavor before the cartridge ran out. And that is just not good enough because the cartridges come in packs of two for $7.50. So if I can only get about a bottle and a half worth of flavor at flavor intensity between three and four, which is what I think most people would want their flavor to be at because that's the point where you can taste it, but it's not so extreme. You don't get that kind of concentrated, almost bitter flavor taste. You know, it's, it's, the, it's a mild, it's a very mild flavor. And that's where I think most people would keep it at. But for $7.50 for a pack, and I can't even get through, you know, more than two bottles, you know, it's just not good enough. Let me show you something right here. So here's a couple of sips. So this is the first one that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I like the fact that they label them so you know which one that you get. So this is the Strawberry Kiwi Life Sip. And this is the first one that I put in there. And I used it for less than the full 32 ounces of water. And here's how much is left inside here because it's supposed to be a liquid. See if you can hear it. Mm -hmm. 
And here's an unused Fit Sip White Cherry. Here's how this sounds when it's all full. So after less than 32 ounces and completely full. I'm hoping that you can hear the difference between them, but if you can't, I will say that this sounds pretty much empty. It feels, it's just a little bit of a splish splash going on in here where this, you can really hear those juices moving all around. And like I said, I kept it on flavor intensity between three and four, and I barely even got through 32 ounces of water or yeah, you know, water before like the flavor just kind of goes away. And from what I've read through the different forums and stuff that I've seen, different reviews, I think the people are also getting the same kind of results. Apparently these sips aren't lasting as long as they used to, but I was hoping that as the months went by and this stock at Bed Bath, Bath & Beyond became available that maybe they would have corrected whatever was causing those sips not to last as long as they allegedly had in the past. But it's just not the case with me. So that's a big deal breaker because that does become very expensive over time. Now, that's just with the sips. Now, the functionality of this is something that I also want to let you know. Okay, so with this bottle, I'm just gonna put it at the flavor intensity three, all right? So, say you're going about your day and then you're going around sipping this thing, so you take a sip, which by the way, it's not like you can just turn it up and get a bunch of water, because look, it might drip a little bit, but I turn it upside down you see, you don't see anything coming out. So you have to suck the water out. So let's just give it another sip. You put it down, do your thing. You come back for another sip. And you notice that with each sip, as you suck this bottle, it becomes harder and harder to get the water out. And it's almost like there's like a vacuum that's being created within it. So you have to suck harder and harder and harder, we're being professional, in order to get something out. And the way to fix it is by twisting the cap off a little bit. And you can kind of hear that air escaping and then the water flows a lot easier. So basically after about three to four good sips, you have to untwist the cap in order to increase the flow of water. I think that's pretty annoying. Now, is a first world problem? Definitely. Does it take so much effort just to do that and do that? No, it doesn't. But it's just the fact that I have to do it. It's not something that I think is very efficient. I think that you should be able to just drink the water, put it down, drink the water, put it down, and not have to be like, well, I have to troubleshoot it every few sips in order to be able to taste something or be able to get something more than just super concentrated uh, flavor. You wanna get the water to go along with that. So that combined with the fact that the sips don't last as long as they should, it is really is a downer for me and it really hinders my ability to want to continue to even buy different sips for this because it just gets kind of annoying over time. And the other thing is these sips are proprietary. Um, people have figured out ways to uh, disassemble the sips so that you can add your own flavoring to it from different brands if you want it to. But it's not something that is, uh, it's not something the company actually wants you to do. You know, they want you to continue to buy the cartridges. They don't tell you in any, any of the materials, this is how you disassemble our cartridge. This is how you refill it. This is how you cannot give us money. You know, so if you want to do that, you can, but you're really not meant to do that. So you're meant to continue to buy these sips at $7.50 for two of them. And they just don't last as long as they do. And at least in this 32 ounce bottle, the whole vacuum thing that you have to continue to correct in order to get the water to flow freely is just two things that's just a little too annoying to me. Um, so 
I know that this, like I said, is first world problems, of course it is, but I still think that you should know if you want to get one of these particular circle bottles so you can know what you're getting yourself into. Um, because the investment is not necessarily cheap, you know, for some flavored water. People would say, just get yourself some bottles of water and some crystal light and call it a day. And I get it, I get it, you know, but I, I wanted to have a more uh, innovative solution to that, you know, and I guess sometimes less is more in this case, but yeah, really want to like it, but I wanted to let you know the shortcomings of this thing as well. All right, so hopefully they can fix these problems because that would be great because otherwise I think it'll be a fantastic product. So that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Um, if you have Circle in one of the other bottles, you know, just let me know how the experience is going for you. And let me know any hints, tips, or tricks that you might have to improve the experience. So thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.